as we discussed in a previous episode, we were discussing gravity. Well, in the video that I did before this, we were doing linear measure on a line. Well, one of the other forms of measurement that we do using the SI or metric system form of measurement is we need to measure mass. Now, please don't confuse mass and weight because as we've learned in class, weight really is what we call a subjective number depending on where in the universe that you live. For example, I have in my hand here what is a hundred, let me see if I can get that in there for you. See, yep, it says 100 grams. This is a 100 gram weight. Well, we're going to put it on our triple beam balance and we're going to see if it does indeed weigh 100 grams. Oh, don't know how to use the triple beam balance? Not a problem. It's called a triple beam balance because there are three, one, two, three beams that go across. And it's a balance because the idea is to get this to balance and for two lines that are right here, which are very difficult to see on camera, but there's two lines right here that need to match up at zero to tell you that it is indeed balanced. The front bar measures single units, in this case single grams, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There are ten marks in between, so this would be the milligrams that go in there. The middle bar is our heaviest weight measure. This is the 100 grams and in the back is the tens grams. Why is the heaviest one in the middle? Oh, well one of the students asked that the other day. The idea is to keep most of the weight on the middle line so that it's not lopsided and it will weigh more accurately or it will measure more accurately. Must get out of that. But now let's go back to what we were saying. I have a known mass, in this case 100 grams. I'm going to set it right in the middle of our stage or platform here. I'm going to move this counterweight out to 100. I'm going to line it up with 100. And then I'm going to just release it and we're going to see if it does indeed line up. And in our case, let me see if I can get you turned around here so you can see this. Hang on just a second, you're going to zoom in here. There it is. It does indeed weigh 100 grams here on Earth. Ah, this is where weight becomes subjective. If I were to go to the moon, and you've seen the video that I showed you the other day of the man dropping the hammer and the feather on the moon, if we go to the moon, the moon is approximately one-sixth the size of the Earth. The Earth has a diameter through the middle of about 7,900 miles or so. The Moon has a diameter of approximately 1,300, if I remember my numbers correctly, which is about one-sixth the size of the Earth. So, if I were to take this 100 grams, let me turn that around there so it's not upside down. If I were to take this 100 grams, to the moon, it would only weigh one-sixth of what it does here. So if I weighed a hundred pounds here on Earth and I weighed one-sixth or sixth percent, I would weigh six pounds. Likely, this would only have a weight of six grams because that's all the gravity there is pulling on it. So weight is very suggestive here on Earth. We use Earth gravity as the standard of gravity, having a gravity value of one. So all of our measurements done here on Earth will all agree because everything is calibrated for Earth's gravity. If I went to the moon, I would have to do a little bit of mathematics, move that decimal to get it to this proper spot so that I could measure the one-sixth gravity. So we use the triple beam balance to measure mass. And in our next video, we're going to do just that with some of these objects that are located right here. So mass. Mass is a function of how much, 
how dense you are, how much stuff you're made out of, what your mass is, and how much gravity is pulling down on you. Mass. That's what we're getting ready to measure.